Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now this is a very very short video I made and I didn't want to wait until the weekend where I usually upload because a lot of people have been reaching out to me on LinkedIn and you know uh, LinkedIn and other social media and pretty much all of them had the same question that they felt that there are no entry level cyber security jobs right now and uh, quite a lot of people which talk to me that they're completing their bachelors or their masters and they feel like betrayed by the industry you know they feel that they they put so much effort and they are no entry level cyber security jobs and the reason that's the reason i made this video i thought okay i didn't have time to do fancy editing or anything i just thought i'll share my i'll just share my own thoughts about this matter and what you can do so first of all you need to understand that the market has changed, right? I mean, you would be like living in like a dream world if you did not understand that the market has changed for many, many reasons. One of the chief most being AI, okay? AI has started erasing entry-level jobs and yes, even within cyber security. So if we take a look at like the recent, uh, this was from IC to the people who do the CSSP and they had like mentioned, you know, what are the entry-level cyber security positions? What are the skills remain? So if you look at, Top five tasks for entry-level staff. It's documentation, alert and event management, reporting. Top three, okay? Which of these do you think AI cannot do, by the way? like So I want you to understand this, that this expectation from the market has changed. If something can be done and offloaded to an AI agent or AI, they will do it, right? It's the ground reality. That does not mean... That okay, this these particular jobs are gone. That does not mean that other cybersecurity entry level positions are not present. But I want you to understand the basic. If you are going to be doing the, these sort of things, right, like the documentation or alert and event management reporting, then you you are setting yourself up for failure in the long run. So at the same time, apart from AI, you know, uh, they did the survey also. Like what has been impacting the industry. So they have said that for hiring freezes are a common issue because of the economy, budget cuts, freezes on promotions, raises. And I talk to a lot of people who I coach in cyber security. It is the same thing, whether it's the UK, whether it's the Middle East, uh, whether it's the USA, Canada. Right now, everybody is feeling the pinch when it comes to a lowered economy and, you know, uh, more difficulty in getting those salaries and all that. So th this is the reality of the market right now. Okay. And at the same time, jobs are very much there it is not like jobs are not there but so you have to understand that old uh, world in which they would hire you and give you three to four months to ramp up and then you don't lose that cushy sort of uh, cushion it's gone companies need skills they have requirements right now but unfortunately our and i mean i hate to say this but our universities and our degrees and some of the certifications even they do not train uh, people for the right skills with the right like uh, outlook on how the cyber security industry is so that's why it's so important for you to really understand what the current uh, marketplace is right here yeah, i just saw this that google was revealing this agentic sock right transforming security operations with ai agents so many people i know who are who want to get into cyber security through do becoming an l1 sock this was the entry point for so many people but now we have seen crowdstrike agentic sock and how to like uh, how uh, like uh, a lot of things can be offloaded off to agentic ai so this is the reality of the market so i want you to understand this that in in such a difficult market what will set you apart is your experience you might be saying, hey, man, I don't have any experience. I've never, this is my first job. Okay, no problem at all. So you, but at first you want to understand that employers are no longer impressed by fancy remissions. They want proof. And you can talk about labs and all that. The key thing which will set you apart is what sort of projects you have on your profile. For example, you can have a GitHub repo showing how you automated like an AWS compliance check, you know, end to end. You have a report documented or a video showing it, or you have a notion or medium article explaining how you threat model an AI application. You can have a short video explaining an ISO 27001 control in a cloud context, which you upload on LinkedIn. You follow me? All these things, you have to think outside the box. Do those things. The, the rest of the like 5,000 people, they're just applying for jobs on LinkedIn and they're hoping that something happens. You cannot afford to be like this, especially if you're like trying to break into cyber security. So like I want to give you like a five step action plan. Like I said, this is not a long video. I want you to build one project per month. 
that solves a real security problem. You know, take a look at the job descriptions and everything which are there. Find out what people are looking for and use that to build a project. One project per month. Document it publicly, put it on GitHub, put it on LinkedIn, or maybe you have a personal blog, whatever is easy for you. Same time, John, find out about the Discord groups which are there or LinkedIn groups that are focused on AI and cloud security because these are the things where a lot of people are focusing on. Reach out to hiring managers directly. Reach out to, like I said, hiring managers. Do not, not to recruiters who already have 10,000 uh, job applications coming in. And specifically, I would recommend if it's an entry-level position, reach out to startups reach out to AI or a cloud startups. Those have very lean teams and they want people who can hit the ground running on day one. So if you have a project, if you have something documented, reach out to them. These small companies, they typically do not have that much red tape. They do not have like 500 people in HR and it has to be approved by like 20 people before you get a job offer. They typically have like, you know, 10, 15 people and they have requirements they want maybe they'll give you a freelance project even and that gives me to my second thing which is okay while you're looking for jobs and keep on applying but you can also look at things like freelance platforms like upwork or reach out to these people on linkedin you can tell them hey if you do not have a job sorry if you do not have like a full-time job i'm happy to do some sort of contract work right and you can show them your projects also so these are the five things in addition keep on applying for jobs but do these things also I guarantee you, they will build your credibility within the market and you will increase your, uh, what do you call, sphere of influence. You, you have to create your own, like, you know, you cannot just sit back and wait and hope something will happen. You have to take active action in such a top job, tough job market. So these were my, uh, honestly, uh, like advice to you. Sorry, like I said, this is not a long video. This is not like a fancy video. I just wanted to give it because I saw how worried a lot of people are. So I hope this helps you. Thank you very much. Do like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.